In Activity 6, Solid Conductors, students test several solid objects to determine which ones allow the flow of electric current through them. Students first predict which solid objects will conduct an electric current, and then construct a circuit to test their predictions. Finally, students classify different materials as conductors or non-conductors. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 6, D-cell batteries, battery holders, number 48 flashlight bulbs, bulb holders, electrical clips, switches from Activity 5, 15 centimeter insulated copper wire pieces, a roll of number 32 nichrome wire, and wire cutters. You will also need to provide assorted objects such as nails, coins, metal spoons, strips of cloth, plastic items, pencils, and so on. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 6 for each student. Cut a 15 centimeter piece of number 32 nichrome wire for each team of two. Each team of two will need a battery, a battery holder, two electrical clips, two 15 centimeter insulated copper wires, one bulb, one bulb holder, a 15 centimeter piece of number 32 nichrome wire, and a switch assembly. Make sure to have a selection of objects for teams to test, such as nails, metal spoons, strips of cloth, and plastic items. To begin the activity, lead a class discussion by asking students, do you think an electric current can flow through something other than wires? Students may recall that a current flowed through a paperclip in the previous activity. Introduce the term conductors as objects that allow an electric current to flow through them. Then, explain that non-conductors are objects that do not allow electric currents to flow through them. Distribute a switch assembly from Activity 5 to each team and ask students, how many conductors do you see here? Students should identify four conductors, one wire, two paper fasteners, and one paper clip. Then ask, how do you know these four elements are conductors? Students should have observed that the bulb glowed when the switch was closed. Therefore, a current must have been flowing through all the circuit elements. Distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 6 to each student and the materials to each team. Instruct teams to construct a one-battery, one-bulb circuit with a switch assembly, as shown in the diagram at the top of their activity sheets. Students should close and open the paper clip to turn the bulb on and off. Ask students, does the paper clip allow an electric current to flow through it? Students should respond that the paper clip allows an electric current to flow, therefore it is a conductor. Then ask, how could we test other objects to see if they are conductors or non-conductors? Students may suggest opening the paperclip switch and then placing the objects one at a time across the paper fasteners. At this time, make sure students understand that if the bulb lights up, an electric current is flowing through the tested object, and the object is therefore a conductor. Conversely, if the bulb does not light up, the tested object is a non-conductor. Next, distribute the objects to the class and have students predict whether the objects are conductors or non-conductors. Instruct students to share and test all the objects and record the results on their activity sheets. After all objects have been tested, discuss the results with the class. Ask students, did any of the results surprise you? Which results? Students may have noticed that some conductors, such as nichrome wire, caused the bulb to glow at a different brightness than did other conductors. Ask, why do you think the bulb glowed brighter with some objects than with others? Help students understand that some objects are better conductors that allow more of the electric current to flow than others. Furthermore, encourage the class to think about how most conductors are made of metal and that paper, wood, rubber, and plastic are poor conductors of electricity. Finally, inform students that in the next activity, liquid conductors, they will explore the conductivity of a variety of liquids. To conclude the activity, have students return all batteries, battery holders, bulb holders, electrical clips, bulbs, and wires to the kit. As the switches will not be used again in the module, students may take their switches home. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.